Howdy, Tubal Kane again, and uh, this is another video on tapping. I had uh, a video, uh, the last video explained uh, taps, the different kinds of taps, and today we're going to do some hand tapping. And we'll start out with uh, tapping hot roll steel. And I've already prepared the metal, and we, these holes are 27 64 which is the tap drill size for threading 1 half 13, which is a coarse thread and we want that bolt to fit in uh, those holes. We're just going to do one hole here, but uh, we'll start out with a, uh, and finish for that matter, with a half 13 high speed steel four fluted hand tap, and this one is tapered. Remember that's seven tapered teeth, and I got a nice Cleveland uh, tap wrench here that's 11 inches long. And use a uh, tapping fluid or oil, whichever your preference is. I do like the tapping fluids and uh, this one is for aluminum but we're got, we've got steel here so I'm going to use this Mystic Metal Mover which has been one of my perennial favorites. We'll tap this first hole and we'll take some of this uh, tapping fluid and put it on the flutes with this hand tap and we're pressing down a little bit as we uh, engage it and we're trying to tap it uh, straight and I'm eyeballing it from two directions to determine that I'm straight. And we go about uh, one turn and we back it up and that breaks the chips off. Always back it up. Now we have don't have to go all the way down, but we have to go down far enough so that we overcome the seven tapered teeth. And now we're pretty much all the way through and I'm running it in, and then I can back it out. And we will check it with a bolt of the appropriate size. And it threads in nicely. If you want to check with a little square, of course, we've got the head here, but I could stick the tap back in there and check it for squareness in two directions. There isn't any place to uh, set the square here, but that's the proof that you're going straight or nearly straight. In some of my other videos, I showed you how to tap on the drill press with a power head. Be sure and look at those. Now we've got a piece of cast aluminum and I've already drilled uh, a couple holes in there and they're 13 64 holes and I'm using a T-handled tap wrench with a quarter 20 high speed hand tap and it's four flutes and we want to make sure that do not use the mystic metal mover on here it causes a chemical reaction you want to use aluminum, aluminum uh, fluid or kerosene or uh, even regular oil works fairly well now uh, as I'm tapping this, I'm just going back and forth about one turn and this is going to tap real easy because it's a sharp tap and cast aluminum uh, taps very well. The rolled aluminum does not tap that well, it's kind of gummy. And back that off, if you think you need a little more fluid, stop and put some of that in. Now one trick uh, if you've got tough material that you're tapping, I'm going to show it to you here in just a second. So we're going to go all the way through and then back it out. And then you can proof your uh, thread by uh, putting a bolt in there. I know these videos are pretty basic, but there are some people that have never done these operations. And there's a quarter 20 bolt that uh, threads right in. One other trick I wanted to show you, if you've got real thick metal, uh, you may want to put a clearance hole in there. So this second hole here has been drilled 13 64 all the way through and then quarter inch about half the way through. So notice the bolt goes in there a little ways. Uh, you, do, you do not need a thread the full thickness. on This is half inch material. Uh, so that clearance hole is going to allow, first of all, it's easier to start the tap straight because it can't go crooked. And uh, 
you're not tapping so much where you might break a tap off if it, this was steel or a tough material. That's why I did that. That's a good trick if you can remember that. Also remember that uh, no matter what the size nut is, that's a quarter twenty hex nut, the thickness there has been carefully designed. You can make a nut much thicker like that one, but that doesn't mean it's going to be any stronger. That's all the thread you need for a quarter inch. A half inch nut, of course, is a little thicker. So that's why I counterboard this hole. Okay, for the final hole that I'm going to tap, this is a 632 tap. Now that's quite small, and I'm using a, a small tap wrench of a different design. I like that particular one. It's made by Morse. And I've already drilled some holes in here, and they're a number 36 hole. That was looked up on a chart. And the tap is a 632. This is a high-speed 632 tap, brand new, never been used. This is a two-flute machine tap sometimes called a gun tap. Now it will push the thread, or, or the shaving rather, through the bottom rather than uh, come up in, coming up the top or getting uh, into the flutes. So we'll show you how that works and I'm going to use a little bit of uh, fluid on that because this is about eighth inch thick rolled aluminum and it's gummy. So we'll go ahead, and, and this is a plug tap, that is, sometimes you got to push down a little bit to get these started, but a plug tap uh, has, remember, three or four tapered teeth. This will have more of a tendency to go crooked. So I'm pushing down to get it started, and then I'm going to check from both directions that I'm straight. You don't want to break these off, but this is very soft material. I'm looking down at the bottom and the chip is on the bottom of the tap. You're not going to be able to see that, but uh, gun tap shoots the chip out the bottom. I think that's where they got the name. And you can see that doesn't take much. I'm trying to hold that straight as I back it out so I don't egg shape the hole. And similarly, if you wanted to do a second one, it would be the same deal. So I've tapped several different sizes uh, using different uh, taps so far. And uh, I think that's enough on this little 632 tap. They go a lot smaller than that, but the smaller the tap, of course, the easier they're going to break. So you've got to be careful with the real little ones. For our final uh, holes here, we're going to tap a couple of blind holes. Now these do not go all the way through. And we're going to tap those 3816 Unified National Course. And the holes have been drilled 5 sixteenths, which is the tap drill side. They do not go all the way through. So we have to use two different taps for this operation. That two identical Cleveland tap wrenches here. I sure do like that brand. I doubt they make them anymore. But we've got a, a plug, a hand plug tap here which has about three or four tapered teeth. I know that isn't going to show up real well. But here we have the bottoming tap, and uh, there are only one taper tooth there. But we'll go in with this one first. Do not use a machine tap that shoots the chips to the bottom, because that plugs up, and you may not get as close to the bottom as you wish. Pay no attention to the mess on this table. I ran a little bit over on this video, so the next segment is going to have to be uh, on the next video. So uh, when, you, when you watch the next video, which will be in a few days, uh, disregard my farewell message on there, because the farewell message should be right now. This is Tubal Cain saying so long for now.